Hello fellow YouTubers and subscribers. Thought I'd nip down again today, update you guys on the uh, raised bed situation. Give everything a good water. These are my cabbage at the moment. Looking really well there. And I've got my onions. So I'm not doing too bad. But uh, what I have been working on is getting these beds constructed. So I'm going to empty the second one, line it, top trim it, and refill it. And I've dug a load of manure pellets in as well. Um, and then obviously I've managed to clear quite a bit of the mound. Also today while I've been down here guys, I've uh, got some onions in today. So these are my onions at the minute. Looking quite well. So put them in probably 10-15 minutes ago before picking up the camera. So uh, yeah, I only took a few minutes to plant, but I've spaced them quite closely-ish together, but I don't want massive, massive onions, so I'm not too fussed, if I'm honest. Um, but yeah, as you can tell, quite a bit of the dirt's gone now, so uh, hopefully I can get all this end open and rotivated. I'm obviously going to have to save some of that mound to put back into these two beds that I implement and top some other ones up. Um, but that's all the old rotten wood from the raised beds. Um, these are my garlic at the moment that I've just not long just put in. Um, let them get the frost. So yeah, quite happy with them. That one is actually a different type of garlic, that one. Um, it's just a normal kitchen one, but it was, yeah, I just thought I need, it's got to be even amounts <laughs> kind of thing. So uh, yeah, that's how it's looking at the minute, guys. Um, so yeah, nice little bit of uh, garlic and some onions in already. Um, and I've got my winter onions and my cabbage in the net over there. Obviously I've got all my beds complete, so all I'm now going to do is I'm actually going to start constructing um, Obviously once I can get the timber is I'm now going to start levelling this out, taking some of this soil out, getting another slab in place Pull them slabs together, pull that one forward slightly so I can get a post in for this rail that's running across um, And then obviously get these beds implemented Rake back a little bit on the left edge, create my divide and then rotivate all of this over guys um, and then just for this year I'll put my corn and bits and bobs in the only area that I am going to be using a grass seed is probably just in this in this particular section here uh, just a square of it um, because I am going to be putting my pond in this corner um, but yeah the rest of this land here I will be opening up um, and just planting you know my rows of corn and the, well, my columns of corn in the cob and taller crop basically um, so yeah, it's coming along guys. A bit messy at the minute because obviously I've been constructing these. So, uh, but yeah, I am really, really impressed guys. Um, also, when it comes to the carrots that i uh, shown you before. Yeah, this is my, I managed to uh, rig up my helmet for my, uh, my ride um, down to the allotment and do your better quality video. And trust me guys, when I say this is better quality, it's nowhere near as shaky as the first one. I'm going to leave the first one up, guys. But, um, yeah, he's basically going to be um, a little while before I produce that one, though. Um, but, yeah, good news on the carrot seeds. Um, there is a fair few ways, guys. I'm not going to lie. But they are definitely 100% carrot leaves. No doubt about it that they're carrots. Um, it's these ones that are not. Some of them. Um, but, yeah, some of them are carrots. Some of them are not. Yeah, that's how many carrots I've got coming up. Um, obviously, I need to get in here, have a really good weed. As you can tell which ones are carrots and which ones ain't, because that's not had any carrots in. Um, but yeah, plenty of carrots have come up, guys. So really, really chuffed. Obviously, having this Perspex roof hinged system thing on, not that it's hinged at the moment, is obviously doing its trick, keeping the heat in. But, so I will be looking at doing them. So yeah, it's been a very productive week, guys. Um, sorry for the lack of uploads. It's just I've been ever so busy trying to get these raised beds sorted. Um, my cauliflower are doing really well. Um, so really, really chuffed with them. So I'm hoping to put five in a tub and then do the rest where I've just said about, you know, opening the ground up and stuff. The leeks are standing very proud. And the leeks in that tub are standing very proud. And also the leeks that are in here are standing very proud. These leeks here, I will be doing, but I will be doing them in this bed just here. 
um, once I've obviously cleared it of debris and rubbish. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really, really coming along. Um, my cherry tomatoes, uh, sorry, yeah, cherry tomatoes are coming through. Not many of them, because like I said, guys, these are very old packet seeds that were already open, so I'm surprised that I've even got four little plants out of it. Five, actually, sorry. Um, so yeah, doing really well with them. These are the petunias now. The petunias are doing really well, um, but this is the problem I find with perlite, like I was saying on my live, is it sends the soil very green very quick. Um, these are my marigolds. But to be honest with you, they're not looking as good as the ones that I've actually done at home. And there's some more marigolds in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I've really not been able to get around to seeding, putting any seeds in or anything just lately. Because um, I've just been so hectic, obviously, sorting these raised beds out and producing content for you guys when it comes to them. Um, but yeah, it's hopefully it's going to be a pretty... Uh, pretty straightforward from here kind of job now guys to be honest um but uh yeah we'll just have to wait and see um yeah that's on top of my shed roof yeah, i'm going to show you from up here guys what plots actually like from a, from a bird's eye viewpoint i mean i am up on the top of the shed at the moment but yeah that is how the plot's looking um so yeah it's looking really good guys zoom in a little bit for you so yeah, I'll just be happy once I've got all this bottom end opened up as well. And it'll be uh, spot on guys, to be honest. But thank you for watching guys, and uh, I'll update you with another video very shortly. Do appreciate all the support and comments, and I'll see you on the next one guys. Take care for now. Bye bye.